let's say we have a string variable name whose value is shivam first we print this name then we make name is equal to naman and we print it again so what should be the output of this program if i run it you will see that the output is shivam and then naman so clearly the value of name has been changed but we have always heard that strings are immutable in nature right immutable means that once created their value can't be changed so if strings are immutable then why did this value change so hello and welcome to my channel the curious coder i'm shivam gupta and in this video i'm going to break down this mystery i'll explain how strings work behind the scene how they are stored in memory and why they are called immutable in nature trust me once you understand what's really happening in memory this concept will never confuse you again okay so to understand this we have to learn about something called string constant pool in java all the objects are stored inside the heap memory now inside this heap there is a special area that java has created only for strings and this area is called the string constant pool okay or string literal pool now there are two ways to create strings either you can directly create string like this string name is equal to shivam or you can create it in a different way like this string city is equal to new string delhi okay using the new keyword so first one is called a string literal and it will be stored in the pool and the reference variable name will be pointing towards it okay basically this reference variable will have the address of the location where shivam is present second one is called string object and in this case it will be stored in heap memory as well as pool okay i'll repeat in case of a string object it is stored in both heap memory as well as string constant pool why because when we use a new keyword java considers it as an object and object are saved in heap memory but since it's also a string so jvm will also save it in the pool okay now this is something you must learn by heart okay i'll repeat it again whenever we create a string literal it is saved in the string constant pool but when we create a string object it is saved in both pool as well as in the heap memory and in this case city will be pointing towards the one in the heap memory okay not the one in the pool all right now there is one more rule in the pool duplicates are not allowed okay so if you create another string whose value is shivam like uh, string name 2 is equal to shivam then another entry will not be made in the pool name 2 will also start pointing towards the same one okay that is the logic so basically whenever you create a literal it will be saved in the string constant pool and if you create another literal whose value is same then that reference variable will also point towards the same literal a new entry will not be made there will be no duplicates in the string constant pool all right so this is also something that you must learn and actually this is the reason why strings are immutable because if you change the value against one variable then the value for all the reference variables will be changed all right and that doesn't seem right okay because of one variable other variables value should not change okay so let me show you some examples on intellij for you to understand this better so let me start with this example only we already have a name variable as shivam what i'll do is i'll just take some more variables let's say string name 1 is also equal to shivam and uh, string name 2 is also equal to shivam all right so there are three different variables and for all these variables we have the value as shivam so as i told you whenever you create a string literal like this without using a new keyword they get saved in the string constant pool all right and in the pool duplicates are not allowed so what is happening is that we have a shivam present there in the pool and name name 1 and name 2 all these three variables are pointing towards that string constant pool okay towards this shivam in the pool all right now here we change the value of name to naman so if strings would have been mutable then what would have happened is that this value would have been changed for all these variables because all these are pointing towards the same location right so if i'll just replace shivam with naman at that location then it will be changed for all of them okay but is that the case let's find out if i'll still print name 
okay i'll just print this one okay and uh, let's remove it from here as of now yeah so we have name name one and name two all pointing towards shivam in the pool and now i have changed name to naman so let's see that whether naman has replaced shivam or not so i'll print name as well as name one great so we see that name is printing naman but name one is printing shivam so why so why how did that happen because as i told you that all these three are pointing towards the same location right so actually how it does is that when when we did it like this we wrote name is equal to naman so at that point of time a new literal was created in the pool all right so this did this didn't change this was not changed at the location it was not replaced actually a new string was created in the pool and name is now pointing towards that string all right so name one and name two are still pointing towards shivam at the same location but name is pointing towards a new location to a different location inside the pool where we have created naman so it is a different string it's not that the same string has been changed okay that is why we we say that strings are immutable in nature all right but this is the confusion like if you'll see that we have printed it so it seems like the same string has been changed because we are using the same variable all right but in reality the same string was not changed because shivam still exists in the memory it still exists at the same location it's just that we also created a new string and our old variable is now pointing towards that new string okay that is the case so always strings are immutable we don't change them at the same location we don't replace them whenever we uh, like write it like this that name is equal to naman we create another string value in the pool and that variable is now pointing towards the new location okay that is the case all right and i can also prove this to you what i'll do is we can just check this like uh, i'll just compare it using the equal to equal to operator so what it does is let's say here i compare it like this name is equal to is equal to name one so equal to equal to actually compares the location all right it will not compare the value it compares the location the address so at this point it will come out to be true you will see for name and name one and also for name and name two okay so i'm checking for all three of them and let's comment this up for a while all right so you will see that both returns true because all three of them are pointing at the same location okay but now when i change name to naman now if i'll just print it again okay like this you will see that both of these are false name is not equal to the, the location of name is not the same as the location of name one similarly name location of name is also not same as name two but if i'll print uh, name one and name two okay name two and name one if you will see this will give me true because they both are still pointing at the same location which is basically pointing towards shivam all right and name is pointing to a different location which is pointing towards naman so it's a new string that was created in the pool and these name one and name two are still pointing towards the older string which didn't change okay it is immutable it's still there it has not been replaced a new string has been created in the pool and name is pointing there all right so that is the logic that's why strings are immutable and uh, basically that is how we can say that strings are immutable and the the logic that i gave you why they are immutable because you see like if if name would have been changed okay then name one and name two would have also been changed all right if we just replace shivam at that location with naman then it will be replaced for all these three variables which is not right all right uh, one variable one reference variable should not have the power to change for all the other variables who are pointing at the same location that is why they didn't make string as mutable it 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 has been made as immutable so whenever you will create a new string uh, whenever you will change the pointing basically you will try to change it a new string will be created they will not replace it all right so let me show you some more examples let's say this in in this case we just created string as a literal let's see when we create string as an object okay so string name is equal to new string let's say shivam all right 
so at this point two copies of shim has been made one in the heap memory and other one in the pool all right and name is pointing towards the one in the heap memory now let's say i try to change this name i do it like this name is equal to new string and i say naman all right so what happened in the memory at this point two copies of naman will also be created because whenever we use a new keyword one copy is made in the heap memory and since it's a string value so one copy will also be made in the pool and this name is now pointing towards the one in the heap memory towards naman but again shivam still exists in the memory it has not been lost it has not been replaced no one is pointing towards it okay at this point when i change name to here at this point now no one is uh, pointing to shivam in the heap memory but still it exists it was not replaced okay name is pointing towards naman now now let's say i do it again name is equal to new string and i do shivam all right now what will happen at this point of time in the pool a new entry will not be made because as i said there is another rule that in the pool we don't create a duplicate entry so shivam exists so uh, it will not create a new entry but in the heap memory since we used a new keyword whenever we'll use new in the heap another copy will always be made okay because it's a new object so another shivam will be made in the heap memory and now this older shivam and older naman are sitting idle in the heap memory no one is pointing towards them name is pointing towards this new one okay but again these two didn't get replaced actually they are still there in the memory it's just that we created a new one which is being pointed by num which is being pointed by the name variable all right so this is how strings work behind the scene this is how their memory management works you just need to understand it and you can answer like any type of question any type of comparison operator equals to equals to or dot equals whatever we do any kind of question can be answered it's just that you need to know the basics all right so i'll take one more example a little complex this one let's say i create a string s1 is equal to hello all right and then i create another string s2 is equal to s1 plus world like this okay we also have this plus operator now so that this operation sometimes we perform so is at this point of time is the string value changing let's find out so what would have happened is first a hello would have been created in the pool and s1 will be pointing towards that okay then we added world in s1 okay we added this so now world is another literal so that will be saved in the pool all right so the pool has two literals hello and world and actually the sum of world plus hello will become hello world and that will be treated like a new object all right this is how concatenation works basically hello was one literal world is another literal but we add these two literals and it will eventually become an object and s2 is pointing towards that object in the heap memory okay because objects are saved in the heap memory so again there was no change at the same location hello still exists exists in the pool world exists in the pool and hello world exists at a different location in the heap memory to which s2 is pointing and at this point of time s1 is still pointing to the hello literal in the pool okay so if i'll print these two s1 and s2 so s1 will give hello because s1 is pointing in the pool towards hello and s2 is pointing towards the object that was created when we concatenated s1 and world okay so that's why hello world is printed which is there in the heap memory and s2 is pointing towards that and actually if you try to understand the memory behind the scene so world as a literal also exists okay it is there in the pool but no one is pointing towards it okay neither s1 nor s2 actually jvm internally is pointing towards it so that is a concept whenever there is uh, whenever we create an object which is there in the heap memory and which is also in the pool so the pool one is being pointed towards by the jvm internally okay so world is being pointed by jvm internally s1 points to hello and s2 points to hello world which is there in the heap memory okay so this is how it works 
now we could have also done it like this let's say we didn't create a new s2 we did it like this s1 is equal to s1 plus world now what okay now we try to change the same variable okay we try to add the same value in this so what's happening is in this case first hello will be created in the pool then again world is a literal so world will be created in the pool then when we added it with s1 a new object will be created which is hello world and since it's an object it will be stored in the heap memory and s1 will be pointing towards the one which is there in the heap memory okay but again there was no change in the string it is still immutable because every literal and every object is still intact at their locations it's just that the reference is getting changed and you will also observe that uh, in this case both hello and world are sitting idle in the pool jvm internally is pointing towards them okay that is the only change in this example and in the previous example but again hello world was created it's an object which is saved in the heap memory and that is being pointed to by s1 here in this case and not by s2 okay but no change was there at the same location so once a string gets created at a particular location it never gets changed okay it can only get to be deleted that happens in garbage collection okay where garbage collection deletes all the values which are not referenced by anyone okay but other than that nothing takes place and they are not replaced not not changed okay so this is how we can say that strings are immutable in nature and we also understood the reason that why they are immutable in nature all right so you can try out some examples on your own you'll get a better understanding and if you want to know about more java core interview questions please stay tuned to my channel and follow the curious code